Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'll be showing you how to set the best NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming. The NVIDIA control panel comes with several important settings such as anti-aliasing, anisotropic filtering, NVIDIA low latency mode and so on. So let's waste no more time in jumping into the simple steps that will optimise your NVIDIA control panel to increase your FPS reduce input lag, improve the visual quality, and unlock the true potential of your NVIDIA graphics card. Before we start adjusting any control panel settings, you need to manually check that your NVIDIA card is up to date with the latest driver updates. To do this, download the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Once you've downloaded and installed NVIDIA's GeForce Experience, click on the download button under the automatic driver updates section. This this will download a program that detects your graphics card's model and automatically installs the appropriate driver for you. Restart your computer to apply the changes. Now that you have the drivers installed, you can follow through the control panel settings. Right click on the home screen of your computer and open up the control panel. Kicking things off with step one, where we will be adjusting the 3D image settings. Look at the top of the left hand sidebar where we'll be starting with the first option under 3D settings tab which is to adjust image settings with preview. Look to the middle of the window under the spinning NVIDIA logo and select the second option then locate the apply button at the bottom right hand side of the window click it. Then click manage 3D settings which is the next option under the 3D settings tab. Focusing first on the image sharpening option at the top of the list in the middle of the window. Here you can increase the overall sharpness of the images and enhance the visual quality of the game. To do this, select the right hand side of the column next to the image sharpening. Then drag the first toggle bar sharpness level up to 0.5 and the ignore film grain bar to 0.17 also. Enable the GPU scaling option, click OK to apply the settings. OK, moving on to step two. Staying in the Manage 3D Settings window, look down to the second option from the image sharpening, which is Ambient Occlusion. This setting improves the depth perception, provides a soft shadow for the images, and adds realism to the in-game scenes. To turn this on, click onto the right-hand side of the column next to the Ambient Occlusion. A drop-down menu will appear. Select the Performance option. Now, Step 3 features the anti-aliasing FXAA. This setting improves the in-game visuals and reduces the performance effects on other aliasing settings. Click to the right of the feature and select off in the drop-down menu. Our next step will be the next feature down on the list, anti-aliasing gamma correction. This improves the visual quality of the 3D images by enabling gamma correction for anti-aliasing. So to turn this on, click the right of this feature and select turn it on in the drop-down menu. Step five, moving on down to anti-aliasing mode. This setting allows you to determine how anti-aliasing is applied to your 3D app applications. Again, click to the right of this feature on the list and select application controlled on the drop down menu. Step six, anti-aliasing transparency. This setting allows you to minimize the visible aliasing on the edges of images with transparent textures. Selecting the drop down menu again to the right of this feature, select the off option. Step seven is a texture filtering and optimization setting. This setting allows texture filtering performance by allowing bilinear filtering on textures. Click to the right for the drop down menu and turn this option on for better performance. Now finally, step eight, the all important power management mode setting. The last setting to change to improve the computer game performance. This feature allows you to select the GPU's performance level when running games and 3D applications. To edit this setting, scroll down to the power management mode setting 
and click to the right of the feature for the drop down menu. Then select preferred maximum performance option and you are good to go. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please let us know in the comments below which of these methods help you the most and give us a like and a subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're down there. If you look over here, there will be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thanks so much.